Bruce, Tamsin, who would have thought if Jamaica can have a bobsled team, Sri Lanka <laughs> can have a sprinter? Uh, absolutely, and he was the fastest, wasn't he, Shervo? Through the heats today, and he's one of four men here that have run under 10 seconds. 10.40, by the way, for Jake Dorn, into a headwind. So that was a great run by Omanyala to run close to the 10-second mark. So this is the third of the semi-finals. He just got up, slept in a bit. Rowan Browning was quite sensational in running. Second in the opening semi behind the defending champion, Akani Simbini of South Africa. Here's the lineup. Africa to the fore again. Mitchell Blake goes for England. As a Marty of Ghana and uh, Abakun of uh, Sri Lanka, two of the favourites. And Rowan Browning mentioned that the Commonwealth now is about there's so many different countries being represented in this 100 metres at that top end, and you just got to look at all the countries on this start line here. So it's who? Wales won the UK 100 metre championship. Hanukkah, Namibia. I had the African final, was actually disqualified for a full start there, so. He'll be a little toe early. Charles of St. Lucia was at the Gold Coast, but he didn't get out of the heat, so this has been a progression for him. Amida ran a personal best in the heats. He's the next one we see from Kenya, so he got it down to 10.12. He was second behind Rowan. Huge improver this year. The Kenyans are going great, but they won that 4x100 at the African Champs and beat South Africa. They've really improved their sprinting stocks. We know the Nigerians are powerful, Tamsin, don't we? Kevwo, one of those here. Look at those personal best times here. They're all sub-10 in this little quartet. Here's Azamati, the national record holder for Ghana at 9.90. And he's been consistently under 10 seconds early in the season, but he's had a really long season. And here is the Sri Lankan. Look, he's just flying at the moment. And he's been based in Italy, where he went on a scholarship in 2015. He has a really high set position and finishes like a steam train. So he won the Golden Spike meeting this year in Ostrava. Mitchell Blake, second behind Ash in the heats. Spent a lot of his teenage years in Jamaica, but he's back in the UK. And Keon Benjamin, Trinidad and Tobago, who was second behind Abercorn in the heat. His personal best came in the semi-finals of his national championship. So five, six, seven, maybe four look to be the ones. 10.24, the fastest of those that aren't automatically through at the moment. So the fluky wins are important here, aren't they, for those third and fourth place getters? They sure are, but isn't it nice that we don't have to worry about that with Rowan? Mm. So, Omanyala and Simbini, the two winners so far. Browning, so impressive, and so was the man from Cameroon. SMA coming through for second place. So they're the four that are through. Cameroon, South Africa. Kenya, Australia. They're the finalists in the bank. Almost set. So. Away, Abakun just behind Azamati early, and now he picks up Benjamin out in lane nine, going well. Right up there at Quivo. Gee, this is close. Look at Azu. Look at Azu from Wales. Oh, what an upset. Mitchell Blake and Azu have got through. They've turned them over. Lanes one and eight, I reckon. Well, the Welshman with the nickname Azum has got the job done. Well, and Mitchell Blake flying late. So all those guys in the middle, Azamati, Abakuna, Kevo and Amita, that they were in a line of 50 metres. It was hard to know where to look. You had to look inside and out at the end. Well, there's going to be some disappointment from some of these athletes who were thinking that they were going to go straight through. That was a fantastic race by Azu and Mitchell Blake. The crowd support is really helping. I'm going to say something silly. That doesn't hurt Rowan's chances. That does not hurt Rowan's chances. If Abakun had come out and run 9.95, there or Azamati, you'd be thinking, oh boy, oh boy. But I'm still thinking, oh boy, oh boy. But I'm thinking in a different way. They were good. They were good late. But they haven't blown the clock away, have they? At 10.13 and 10.15. Look at this. So Azu on the right, Mitchell Blake two from the left. And look at the line at 50 metres. You just didn't know who was going to win it at this point. But you can see with Azu... On the inside line, I think it helped him that he was there and he was away from the the athletes on the outside because he just focused on his own race. So, oh. so we'll get those fastest non-automatic shortly. Great finish. I mean, was a breath in it. 
And Abakun's going to be a little bit upset with the way that he's run this. He hasn't actually used his strength at the back end where he relaxes and come through, comes through usually. I think as a Marty and Abakun have got through, uh, Shiv, I reckon as a Marty and Abakun have got through, so we have got a loaded final coming up. Yeah, it is a brilliant position for Rowan Browning to be in. He's in the final and it is very tough.